If you watch the screencast on select menus, then you saw how easy it is to build and work with select menus with Informer and how powerful and extensible they are. Pretty much the same thing with checkboxes as well. So we'll go ahead and create a checkbox here and we're going to ask the user if they agree to our terms. So the, the checkbox method, the input underscore checkbox method, will take seven parameters. The first one or the first two are the only ones that we're going to use here. So we're going to name our checkbox agree and then we're going to put in our label. And let's go ahead and save that and refresh our form and there it is. I agree to the terms and you can see that it's already, sub it's, since we're using Bootstrap, it's already formatted for Bootstrap with the appropriate class and the label is wrapped around the checkbox as well so that we don't have to worry about clicking the checkbox. We can actually click the label. Okay, so that's pretty fast and pretty simple. You don't have to worry about formatting or anything. But what if we want to do a checkbox array? So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to ask the user what their favorite hobbies are, or at least a few of their favorite hobbies. So what we're doing here is we're creating just a standard label. We're going to use the label method. Of course, you could type this out in HTML if you want. We're going to leave the first attribute, um, the first argument empty, which would be label four, because we're not tying this to anything. And we're just going to put in our actual label text, our string, and we're going to ask what are your favorite outdoor hobbies. And then we're going to go ahead and do a checkbox array and we're going to ask for the favorite hobbies, fishing, hiking, camping, and swimming. So let's go ahead and save this, refresh our form, and now you can see that we have an array of checkboxes, just that quick and that easy. So also just a little trick here, if you don't like, if you don't want the, uh, it's using the, the bootstrap, uh, I believe it's inline dash checkbox. Um, if you don't like that being in bold, you can easily easily just go up here and just do an override style sheet. Okay, and just get rid of the, uh, just change the font weight to normal. Let's go ahead and refresh that. Okay, great. So now we're asking, what are your favorite outdoor hobbies? And again, just like in a, in a previous example where I showed you about submitting the form, we can go ahead and submit this form and it's gonna retain all this information and it's gonna pass the hobbies array to our form. So also notice that we're using the input underscore checkbox underscore inline method. That's identical to input underscore checkbox, except it tells Former that we want them to be inline with each other and just to add that inline bootstrap class. So you don't have to use bootstrap to use this. You can just create your own inline dash checkbox class and then style it how you prefer. But that's basically how easy it is to go ahead and create checkbox arrays as well. And let's take a look at the HTML and you'll see that there's that uh, our country menu. Here's our checkbox array, all of this. And this is really all that we had to type. We just basically type it out once, copy it several times, and then just enter in our new values. And Former will go ahead and add all of that for us. And then, of course, save and repopulate upon submit. In the next movie, we're going to go ahead and take a look at file uploads.